I didn't, I didn't ask for this world, but here I am. What hope is there for me? What will ever really happen with my life? They choose everyone else before they even think about me, and they don't even think about me. The prophet tells Jesse, are these all your boys? He says, well, there is one. But he's in the field taking care of the sheep. Hmm? Men may underestimate you. Hello? Your own daddy and your own mama may underestimate you. Your friends may not acknowledge you as being anything special. But God, He knows right where you are. Hallelujah. I don't know what it was like for David that morning. He got up. His father said, go take care of the sheep. He had no idea that that day was going to be the day that his life would be forever changed. Maybe you don't even know why you're here tonight. Maybe you just think you were dragged here or you don't even really realize why you were brought here. But it could very quite possibly be that this is the day that your life is about to change forever. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. (laughs) I'm calling you young people. God is calling you. Do you know (laughs) that over 2 million babies in this nation are aborted every year in their mother's womb? Can you imagine if the Virgin Mary would have been a woman of choice? Hello? A woman's right to choose. What if she would have aborted Jesus? Huh? Moving right along. I know they teach you in school, it's your right to choose. (laughs) When David woke up that morning, He had no idea, none whatsoever, that his life was about to change. Not only was his life about to change, but that day, something was about to come on him that would cause him to be changed from a natural, normal person into somebody that would be called to do supernatural things. To lead a nation. A king. Do you remember the story of Moses? The Bible says that Pharaoh said, Every boy that needs to be born by the Jews, I want you to take them and kill them. Hmm? You know the story of how Moses' mama made a little boat and put him in the boat and put him in the Nile River? And God spared his life. But thousands and hundreds of thousands of babies were killed during that time. But God spared Moses. Do you remember when Jesus was born, King Herod sent the soldiers into Bethlehem and said, kill every baby two years old and under. And thousands of children were slaughtered. Why? Because the devil knew that there was a promised redeemer that was coming. Hmm? And so he set about to kill the children before the redeemer could come. That is what is happening in this hour. A world gone absolutely mad. 
Children being slaughtered in their mother's wombs. But why? How do we make sense of this? Because the devil knows that a generation has been prophesied that would rise in the last days, that would be empowered by the Spirit of God. The devil is afraid of you. My God, my God. (laughs) You know why he's afraid of young people? Because they'll believe God for anything. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They've been there, done that. They've seen it all. They're not afraid of anything. And if you can get your heart filled with the Spirit of God, you'll walk right down into the middle of hell itself and bring your friends out, bring your families out, bring a revival to this nation, to your school, to your life, to your parents, to your loved ones. We cannot sit down, he said, until he comes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This revival, young people, is not going to take place until you come to the place that you've been called to be. Hmm? The time is now. God is calling you. God is calling you to rise up to your point of destiny. See, this world is not our home. How's that old song go? Huh? Well, this world is not my home. I'm just a passing through. Well, my treasures all laid up. Somewhere beyond the blue. <laughs> well, well. <clears throat> and the angels beckon me from heaven's open door. And I can't feel at home in this world anymore. My God, my God, I don't know what you're looking for, but I'm looking for an outpouring of the Holy Spirit that's going to bypass religion. It's going to bypass dead, died Christianity and come upon you, young people. Empower you, change you, equip you, empower you, anoint you, and call you to great and mighty things. Hallelujah. 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 We cannot sit down until you come. Some of you in this house tonight, you're called to be preachers. Some of you are called to be business people, teachers, mothers, fathers, lawyers, whatever it may be. But he's calling you. He wants to anoint you. Not just so you can be a success in this life. But he's calling you to something far more profound. If you don't reach your generation, man, I can't do it. But you can go places I can't go. Do you have the guts to stand up in the midst of your friends? Hmm? Y'all think you're so bad. You ain't bad till you get full of the Holy Ghost, man. Hmm? Where you ain't afraid of nothing, man. Huh? Huh? I dare you to walk right in the middle of the, what do they call that place in school where all the seniors, where where it's in the, only the seniors can go? The quad? Yeah. I dare you to walk in the middle of that and go, thus saith the Lord. Oh, my God. (laughs) Are you crazy? Yeah, I'm crazy. 